Hi friends everywhere. Today we're talking about the bowmaker Jean-Jacques Milon. He was one of the greatest of the, the last, or well, the mid 20th century to the end of the 20th century, French bowmakers. He was born in 1928 in Paris. He is the son of Roger um, Milon. And he is the cousin of Bernard Milon, who is the son of Max Milon. So in Paris, there was the uh, company uh, Roger and Max Milon. They were violin makers and they had a shop there on Rue de Rome. And they both had sons who became very famous in the bow making worlds. Bernard Milon was, of course, famous for his expertise in certification. And back to Jean-Jacques. So he trained in the in the 40s with the Morizot uh, Frere, so that's the Morizot brothers. He went back to Paris in the 50s, worked for his uncles, and then set up on his own, I think in the late 50s. And luckily, I was lucky enough to meet him. I was in Paris in the 1990s, and I went to one of the major shops here and said, who's the best French bow maker? And they said, Jean-Jacques Milan, and pointed me towards a little street around the corner from Rue de Rome. And th that's where I met Jean-Jacques in his workshop and spoke to him about bow making and, and his life and things like that. And uh, he told me that he only made gold mounted bows. So from 1970, in all fact, he just made gold bows. Before that, I can show you some bows that I've got. I've got three viola bows and one violin bow with me. So we have a bow that he made for his dad and uncle, stamped R and M Milan A Paris. My dog's getting excited here. He likes a French stick. Uh, no, be good. Come on. And um, <laughs> the interesting thing about this bow is that he used a silver eye, so it wasn't um, the pearl that you often come across. It's got a hill W E Hill and Sons setting, so the uh, the bow is sunk into the frog. Uh, sorry. The frog is sunk into the bow, that's what I meant. Okay, so that's a bow he made in about 1950. Then we move along to this interesting bow here, which is a viola bow with his own experimental design. And he made this bow um, in about 1960, and he, he painted an idea of having the frog sitting onto, well, this one's a little bit different because it's quite a normal uh, uh, style where it sits on there, but we've got the angle there. But other ones he made, they were sitting on the ivory or sitting on the tortoiseshell, which was already stuck onto the frog. Okay, didn't really catch on. This is a really nice viola bow, though, um, in the ivory, as I've said. Um, his typical head style is sort of piccatish, so it's quite, quite sort of a, an, an angle there. Okay, and then we've got two of his standard bows, one made in 1970 and one made in 1990. The bow made in 1990 is actually Bernard Millon's own bow, uh, which I was lucky to uh, purchase. And this bow is featured in, in their fantastic bow makers, uh, Almanac of the Le Arche. So if you look there, 1990, this is the bow that's in the book. Um, anyway, Jean-Jacques Millon is um, one of the, the last great bow makers of that period, and certainly a great link to the earlier makers of, of the past. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I will put some photos of this on my Bishop Strings Facebook page and we'll see you next weekend where I will do the bow maker Andre Ruchon. Bye bye.